What do you think matters most? Landing more shots on target or maximizing the damage output of your build? That's a great question, and today we're introducing a new build that challenges conventional wisdom in the Division 2. This setup not only operates without two of the three typical damage talents, but it also consistently leads the pack in kills for legendary and heroic group play. Stick around as we dive into the details of this dominating build. And if you don't know, now you know. In the world of the Division 2, where firepower often reigns supreme, it's easy to get caught up in the race for higher damage numbers. But what if I told you there's another path to dominance? This assault rifle build throws convention out the window, focusing instead on precision and consistency. By prioritizing accuracy and target acquisition, this build ensures that every shot counts. Whether you're facing off against waves of enemies in group content or tackling things solo, landing precise shots is the key to success. And with this build, Build, you're doing just that. But how can it possibly be effective without two of the three possible damage talents? That's where the magic lies. Instead of brute force, this build emphasizes precision. It's a testament to the idea that sometimes finesse can be just as effective as raw power. Let's break it down with a simplified example. Suppose you're facing off against a tough enemy with a total health pool of 10 million. Now let's compare two scenarios. So scenario one, your build focuses on maximizing damage. You manage to land headshots dealing 1.3 million damage each, but due to missed shots, you hit the target 50% of the time, typical. Scenario two, with the precision focus build, you deal 1 million damage per headshot. That's 300,000 less, but now you're hitting the target with a 90% accuracy rate. Let's see how the numbers stack up. So on scenario one, you have 1.3 million damage per headshot with a 50% accuracy rate. So the total damage dealt per shot is 650,000. So the number of shots needed to defeat that 10 million armored up enemy is rounded up to 16 shots. We have 1 million damage per headshot with a 90% accuracy rate. So the total damage dealt per shot is 900,000. So the number of shots needed to defeat that same enemy is rounded up to 12 shots. As you can see, even though damage per shot is greater in the first scenario, the higher accuracy of the precision focus build allows you to defeat the enemy with significantly fewer shots. This means you can take down your targets faster and more efficiently, ultimately leading to better overall performance in combat. Now don't get caught up in the details here. This is just a rough and totally simplified example just to demonstrate the concept of precision over raw damage. And I know what you're thinking. Well, that's just on paper tux and we all know what happens on paper stays on paper. In the field, things pan out differently. I tend to agree. Here are the results of the live gameplay demonstration. Now, where things really get interesting is when you double the size of the magazine. So let's walk you through the build beginning with the star of the show, the Born Great Assault Rifle. And what a beast it is. I am truly impressed with the Born Great. Okay, so I don't have any efficiency. I have damage to targets out of cover. We have 920 RPMs with a 75 round mag. The build is boosting that mag. We got two second reload, a decent damage drop off and perfect stabilize. So this is what it's all about. So firing your weapon increases weapon accuracy by 1% and stability by 1% per shot. You don't have to land those shots up to 75%. If you stop firing, the bonus is reset after six seconds. This is better than the non-perfect version, which only gives you 60% accuracy and stability and less time when you stop firing. You can put this weapon on any build and it shines. And so one of the questions you might want to ask when you equip this particular assault rifle with its talent is, hey, what do I want to do with all that extra accuracy? For me, I wanted to land more headshots on target and more shots on target at distance. So the best combination for the Born Great, in my opinion, is the 8X scope. That's gonna give you 30% more headshot damage, but also an effective magnification to reach those deeper targets and adjust your aim with precision. This is extremely helpful, especially in legendary content, but also in heroic content, as this build tends to be a more play from cover style. On top of that, I have crit chance, and I decided to run the Omega Suppressor for an additional stability buff, helping us land more shots from the get-go as perfect stabilizers ramping up. And then I have plus 20 rounds here. The scope gives us 30% more headshot damage. That's the equivalent of three 10% headshot damage mods on your build. 
totally worth it. Imagine having three more mod slots on your build and how powerful you would feel if you were able to equip an additional three headshot damage mods to those slots. That's what this scope is doing for you. And if you want to land those shots at distance, it's just a smart move. And this assault rifle allows you to reach deep and land those shots and get a headshot kill with it. Otherwise, I'm running gunner. That's going to help with your ammo because you're putting out a lot of shots with that 75 around mag. You tend to just hold that trigger down, making it feel like an LMG with a really good reload and precision and power. Plus, that's giving you 10% armor on kill, which is our only real source of survivability here besides our damage. So we don't have any additional heal or anything like that. You can change out your skills if you want to. This is just a default set that I have. The Ninja Bike Messenger Backpack. With its three cores, they have Crit Chance and Resourceful, which is basically opening up an additional brand or gear set. So that allows me to only run three pieces of Striker, but it acts like I'm running four. So we get Weapon Handling, Rate of Fire, and then we're getting Striker's Gamble. That's giving us 100 stacks of Amplified Damage. And then we have Weapon Damage and Crits here, and then Weapon Damage and Crits, and the Knees are the same and then for the holster you're going to want the picaro's holster because we're after that larger magazine size but we're getting a skill tier as well as skill haste and then we got armor crit chance on weapon damage so it's like a double core triple core technically because of that skill tier and then the chest piece also has to be brazos to complete the set for the magazine size and then we have armor crits crit damage and focus so I really enjoy focus with this. You don't have to run focus with this. You can also do obliterate, but this coincides with the scope. So total weapon damage is increased by 5% for every second you are aiming while scoped ADEX are higher up to 50%. Now we were running this in its demonstration with obliterate as well, but one of the keys to being successful with this is to not be neurotic about being in scope for long durations of time. Just play naturally with focus and it pans out. So if we look at our stats, I balanced my crits out, so I'm about 50% crit chance and 80% crit damage. If you're lucky enough to find a focused Brazos chest piece that allows you to put a red core, then go for it. I'm running 1.3 million in armor, and I don't really think we need that much armor. I think 1.1 million in armor would be just fine. So I would really love an additional red core if I could find that piece. It's a little bit of a unicorn, though. So you're going to notice that this assault rifle build will just feel great from the get-go. It feels really good to land those shots on target on the head with a giant mag to never reload and to be seeing your numbers hitting around a million depending on your group composition it's also excellent for solo gameplay just keep in mind it's not really a run and gun type build the idea here is to land a lot of shots and to build up your stacks and to maximize that so it's more about strategic positioning and just laying it down remember you have an advantage distance not just because you're running the scope but because you're able to land those shots with precision at distance too. So use it accordingly. So as far as skills, especially for solo play, you could still run a shield in case somebody tries to flank you. It's always handy. I decided to run the ACS shotgun as a backup weapon. It's pretty good for those instances too. The Ouroboros would make a good backup weapon here as well. You don't need focus on your backup weapon. Also for skills, the fixer drone would be really handy for a little bit of heals in between things. And for me, that's the one thing I wish the build had was more armor on kill or something like that because this build just does a really, really good job at killing. I would like its recovery to meet its efficiency there because my favorite combination overall is fast time to kill and fast time to heal. And so this has the kill part for sure. And 10% armor on kill is great. It works just fine, but it's that little bit of micro damage that you take here and there. You know, that random bullet that rounds a corner. You know, that stuff is really annoying and just kind of nicks at you. And the armor kits are still not perfect in this game. To fully equip an armor kit still takes a couple of seconds, which still feels super slow that aside you're really gonna enjoy this build it works for just about everything i ran it in legendary heroic solo and in group bonus tip this build is extremely effective against those drone operators pound them you can take out their drones like on demand Thank you for hanging out with me today. My name is Tuxedo Bandito, and this was another episode of The Division 2. If you found this video helpful, subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to ensure you don't miss out on the fantastic experiences waiting for you in The Division 2. And if you like builds like this, check out the recommended build video I have here for you. If you have anything you want to see covered, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And thank you to all the channel members and donors who make everything possible. Tux Nation wouldn't be without you.
follow me. I get it.